Good morning, guys. I'm Amber Wilson. LeBron James poured in 47 points last night to rally his team almost single-handedly down the stretch, but a bizarre ending sent him to the locker room in disgust. After LeBron knocked down a pair of free throws to tie it with eight-tenths of a second left, he was whistled for a controversial foul on the ensuing inbound to Danny Granger with four-tenths to go. Granger made one of two for the 96-95 victory. Coach Mike Brown called it the worst call he's ever been a part of. One plus for the Cavs, though, guard Mo Williams was announced as a replacement in the All-Star game for the injured Chris Bosh. Kobe Bryant became the youngest player to reach the 23,000-point plateau with 34 in a 105-98 win over the Thunder. At 30 years and 171 days old, Kobe beat Wilt Chamberlain to the mark by just five days. But Wilt was still the fastest to get their game-wise 606 games compared to Kobe's 917. Another day, another steroid story. This time, Miguel Tejada has been charged with lying to Congress about his steroid use. The Astros all-star shortstop is expected to plead guilty in court later today. He faces up to a year in jail, but will likely get a lighter sentence as part of his plea deal. To the college hardwood, where number 13 Villanova ran over Big East foe Marquette 102 to 84. Scotty Reynolds netted 27 points, while Corey Fisher added 21 as the Cats avenged New Year's Day loss to the 10th ranked Golden Eagles. On the ice, in a clash of the league's best, the San Jose Sharks scored four times in the third period to secure a 5-2 home victory over Boston, which still has the most points in the NHL with 85. And that, guys, is everything you need to know in the world of sports. If you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson. Did you know you could win an autographed jersey from John Elway? Sign up for the Drive Offseason Challenge today and get an automatic entry, then play every day for daily prizes at opensports.com.